Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-4773. Notice from the Foundation Department of Miscommunications Theory is information not present in this document. This is unintentional. Eli Forkley, Director, UMC. Item Number Object Class Special Containment Procedures SCP-4773-2 has been moved to a 4 meter by 4 meter by 4 meter containment cell. Size of chamber acts as a baseline for testing. See Addendum.1 for more information. At Site 96 for the purpose of testing. Containment Team CT-4773 are to remain on standby during the initial preliminary analysis phase of containment, which is ongoing. Description SCP-4773-2 is a brown, stuffed bear composed of synthetic fur and cotton. SCP-4773-2 will periodically levitate between 10 and 70 centimeters from the ground, and move in irregular patterns. Objects, entities, and surfaces near SCP-4773-2 of may be wholly or partially imperceptible. This is considered normal behavior. Due to events, it is suspected that the anomaly possesses a secondary mind-affecting effects. This has been conclusively disproved. This is considered normal behavior. See below. Tentative description. The following properties which may or may not relate to circumstances surrounding SCP-4773-2 are currently unconfirmed. Reader discretion is advised. Mass, shape, etc. Baseline, normal physical properties. Movement, verified. Changes in environment, unspecified, verified. Removal of food. Triggering of unspecified subconscious instincts amongst personnel. Improper disposal of food waste, which was fully edible at the time, by personnel. Fate unknown. Currently three sandwiches, four packets of salted potato chips, and various assorted confectionery. Movement, unverified. Mind affecting invoking emotions. Sadness. Pity. For what? It's difficult, verified. An inability to properly co. Staff are unable to. The existence of implications, unclear. Addendum.1, testing log. On April 10, 1996, a proposal for testing involving SCP-4773-2, intended to collect data on its anomalous visual effects, was approved by Site-96 staff, and conducted a week later. During this time, SCP-4773-2's containment cell was designated off-limits and personnel were advised to create an acceptable baseline by keeping interaction with related anomalies to a minimum. Also of note, SCP-4773-2's visual properties did not correspond to its location. For the test, the east-facing wall of SCP-4773-2's containment cell was lined with numbered square tiles, 25 centimeters in length, and observed via closed-circuit surveillance systems. Every hour, a researcher made note of which tiles they were unable to view, either partially or fully. SCP-4773-2's location can be ascertained from the placement of the red tile. Five hours into testing, procedures were halted, as no conclusive evidence was able to be drawn. The data sets can be found below. Testing concluded on April 18, 1996. There is new update to the file. Showing update. The 23rd of April 1996. SCP-4773-2 has been identified as non-anomalous and placed into storage.
SCP-4773-1 was located in its containment chamber alongside the object, deceased due to dehydration, cremation of the body is scheduled for 04-30, and decontamination of the chamber is ongoing. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.